channel please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy content in this week's video i'm going to be installing the red and black audi leather sport seats from the audi s4 b8 to my 2013 audi a4 b8.5 and you won't believe how much i paid for this and guess the prices in the comment section while well, i'll get back to you pretty soon on that for this video i'm just going to be installing the front and rear seats as installing the door trims is going to take some time i have to remove all the accessories put them on here and it's going to be too long of a video so i'm just going to make it short and easy by installing the front and the rear seats and if you want to know how to remove them please watch my previous video on how to remove all your seats front and back on your b8 and b8.5 audi a4 and s4 this is the overall condition of the seats. I am not complaining because of the price I paid. This was a pretty good deal as people are selling these seats for $3,000 to $5,000 and they are hard to find. You get a little bit of like crease right here, wear right here. I mean, hopefully I could be able to fix this, get it touched up by a professional, just fix the small wear. And something I had no idea these seats had is that the adjustable leg cushioning i suppose and it looks like it's the same plugs as my other one and it looks like i get heated and cooled seats because i don't have that green plug in my other car so i'm gonna have to buy the module to add that and here's our front passenger door trim here is the right passenger door trim here is the rear seats i even get the red stitching on the headrests yeah, it has S4 imprinted, although I have an A4. I don't want to buy an S4 because I want to have a fast 2.0 four-cylinder. Then eventually I'll buy an S4 and keep both of them. And this is the rear left passenger trim. And this is the driver's side door trim. And uh, if you notice this, this is for the memory seats, which I need to buy the module now to keep that ugly little cover out. And if you haven't noticed from my previous videos from the past, I already purchased this and this. So now this bottom part is for sale. As you can see, we've got the one foldable seat right here in the bottom bench. The same thing applies to here. So I have this set right here for sale. So let me know if you want to buy that for $500 because that's how much I paid for it and that's how much I want back for it. Good luck finding these for cheaper. I cleaned all of this as much as I can. All the dirt is now gone. As if you see my previous video, there was a bunch of dirt and it was very messy. Now it's cleaned up. So now let's go install the two seats on that side first. <music> So as you can tell, there is going to be some fitment issues because there's that big entire gap that in my B8.5 seats, it covers. The S4 seats don't cover that, so I have to buy the S4 trim to cover that side, as well as on the other side because these seats are actually narrower. As for the built-in seat belt inside the Audi S4 seats, it is locked, and I think because there's an airbag sensor wire inside the seat belt inside these seats, it caused this to go stay in the locked position after the accident therefore the seat belts rendered useless the good thing is i'm just going to use the built-in seat belt in my audi a4 b8.5 so what i'm going to do to make this thing cleaner is unbolt the seat belt that way i could just have it hanging right there and then figure out a solution to how to hide it and with this seat belt i'm just going to tuck it in there because i cannot use it unfortunately <laughs>
section, I had to cut the seat belt holder right here because what I'm going to do is sew this together but make it short. That way it just stays up here. So whenever I fold the seats down, that seat belt stays up there and it's not hanging right here. It's not bolted or whatever. So we don't need that. And for this, I'm going to have to find the special adapter or the hinge, whatever, that goes hooked in somewhere here. That way when you fold the seats down, the seats are not going to fly forward. <laughs> Now before we install these seats, we got to make sure that the white covers are in its place with the black piece in there. And then we're going to grab the 17mm socket and bolt down the seat belt on each side. able to fit it without removing the steering wheel luckily i didn't hit anything or break anything Whew. i plugged everything in everything plugs in perfectly now the cover is back in place we can now align that little dot pin on this hole right here awesome as you can see now it's practically aligned and now we're going to move it to the back so we could screw these two bolts down battery in the back so that we can move the seat back so we could bolt on the two screws in the front and then push the seat forward so we could bolt on the two screws on the back and now for the moment of truth these are supposed to light up but the battery is almost dead let's push the seat up Especially with the blue carbon fiber trim, I cannot wait to install that on my red. Oof, what a project car. I gotta redo my headliner. Black Alcantara or black suede? We shall see soon. So the door trims are gonna be for next week. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy content. Uh, this Audi A4 is looking so gnarly right now. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait to get the trim installed next, so stay subscribed to watch that video. Anyways, peace out.